In this video, I spent 24 hours grinding to become Kirito inside of Swordburst 3. And I have been following this game for a very long time. And I've also used to play Swordburst 2 a very long time ago, even before I even started doing YouTube. So I am incredibly excited this game is finally out for free to play. I did already buy the alpha and I played the beta a little bit. But we are starting completely fresh, except for an alpha mount and some beta auras. If you want to know my auras are and and amount is that's what those two things are it's because i paid for like alpha like forever ago but if you do enjoy this video and you haven't already please drop a quick like and subscribe it is free and it does help out the channel but let's go ahead and get started online was one of the first animes i ever watched so i am quite excited to play this but let's go ahead we can go ahead and talk to this npc we can get ourselves a quest a new adventure which wants us to kill five razor boars for a bunch of experience and money okay let's do it we have to kill these guys which shouldn't be too difficult because it's the first enemy and we have a ton of swings look at that we can even get drops for that so from that npc we got a bronze sword and some amethyst and a boar husk or tusk which is used for crafting or i can just sell it look at level three of a weapon well, let's kill more yeah so npcs can drop items on the ground so you need to make sure to actually look at the ground whenever you kill stuff so i don't miss out on it okay one more razor board there we go okay, cool. let's claim that and we can actually repeat the quest if we want to oh, that's new okay let's go ahead and press yes now let's keep killing more boars and oh i see a chest over there behind the building let's go grab that chests normally have some pretty good loot but there we go okay another five killed so there we go now we're level two we leveled up there and with that, we gain some skill points, which we can use to upgrade our skills. And I'm guessing I'll go ahead. Out of all the skills in the game, Whirlwind seems the most worth it because it can literally work with any fighting style. Sword, Great Sword, Katana, and Dual Wield, which I do have access to Dual Wield. This is a Game Pass. There's also Agility, Dual. There's a lot here. Okay, cool. Well, for now, let's go ahead and get Whirlwind, and let's go ahead and get Regeneration. That should help out a lot when we need it. Let's see, what is this? What, what do you give? Uh, okay, that gave us a Amethyst, okay. Amethyst, I'm pretty sure, are used for enchanting to make weapons better. Oh, Giant Razor. Let's beat you up. Oh, you're way tankier. Look, I think most of the attacks in this game are line-based, so I can actually somewhat challenge stronger enemies while being weaker if i can dodge them there we go easy that, that counted for the quest too now here's another chest though let's, let's grab this that one gave us a steel great sword level two yeah it is it does more damage though so we'll go ahead and use it swings a little slower though i do think i'm mainly gonna be using long swords though because i like being able to swing faster and so claim this waist though so we can teleport around you want i want to make, make sure to claim these because those let me teleport around to different places in the map let's see can i talk to you can I do your quest yet? Your quest was level two for angry beach shells. Okay, let's go and do that. That's probably a better quest. So this is to kill these tortoises. Oh, these are dangerous tortoises. No, but yes, I played a ton of Swordburst 2 back when that game was still considered high quality. So if you've been on Roblox for a long time, you know what I'm talking about. But that was like the best anime game you could play at the time. Probably like one of the only ones. And of course, they have their new version of the game called World Zero, which I have played a ton of and even made a few videos on in the past. I'm going to claim that quest. We're almost level three. We're getting close. I do see another chest over here, though. Gave us Amethyst. There we go. But we're level three now, so I'm going to go ahead and equip that level one sword again. And then I'm also going to go ahead and equip the bronze sword, which just gave me access to dual wielding. But I'm not gonna, I'm not too focused on the dual wield itself because I'm not even sure if, if I'm going to be using it. I am going to focus on leveling up my Whirlwind and regeneration though and i'm guessing i'll go ahead and do agility after that i kind of want to use the katana katana is also really cool looking but look at us we are now dual wield okay we're doing good do the next quest which is clear the path it wants us to defeat 10 tortoises for this quest okay let's do it oh yeah look at that we're now hitting twice as much we're doing way more damage okay this is gonna be good and there you go quest is now done and it needs us to return to the npc it's not letting me claim i know what happens but let's go ahead and claim the quest <laughs> there we go now we have access to more of the map including amethyst which, which we can actually mine up for materials but i'm not going to do that right now because i know we can get a lot of amethyst later in the game back in the alpha there should be a lot more now hey another bronze blade perfect that was the most perfect sword for us to get there. Let's go ahead and equip that. We can also buy better armor. Can I afford it? I can. Okay, let's go ahead and buy that. 
because we definitely need more armor. There we go. Level four armor, so we're much tankier now. And we also leveled up, so we have some of these skills. Let's go ahead and... Okay, we're going to save it. I'm just going to keep stacking Whirlwind. Oh, here's a Mount Tamer Todd. A bunch of mounts. How much are they? Oh, you need materials. So if you want to claim... If you want to get a mount, you have to bring the material. And you can either pay, have to get, bring 10 of the material and money or one of the material and, and, the, and the Robux currency. And there's different sizes and speeds of the animal. That's actually really cool. So you can get different sizes of like the crystal boars. That's new. That wasn't here when I last played. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Oh, hello, Merchant Steve. Give me my quest. Wolf problem. Defeat five wolves. So what is this over here? 500 XP activate to start. 500 XP is a lot. Let's activate portal. I bet this is like a boss fight. I'm definitely underpowered for this area, but we're going to try it anyway. Oh, it's spawning wolves. Oh, this is good for the quest then. I'm, I'm, I'm multi doing, I'm doing the wolf quest and also this portal. Yeah, this is worth it. There we go. We got a wolf tooth and a bunch of experience for that. That was worth it. Oh, I just realized you can actually see the tower to the next floor too. Oh, that's awesome. What's the next quest level? Okay, level five for quick repairs. Defeat 10 wolves. Let's do it. Oh, I see another portal over there. Let's go do that. That's like the most perfect way to do this quest. There we go. Finally. What did that drop me? An amethyst. Cool. And an oracle. What is an oracle? Oh, that's a weapon. Level eight. Very good. Hey, hello, Merchant Steve. I'm here to finish my quest. And we got level six there. Awesome. And we, I'm guessing we repaired this thing. Yeah, there we go. I wonder if that, anything, I wonder if that did anything for me. No idea, but I bet there's another quest up ahead. I'm pretty sure there is. Level seven. Okay, I have to come back. I have to get one more level, then I can do this one. Okay, there we go. Level seven now. We're good. Okay, Hungry Bears. That's our next quest. Let me also go ahead. I have the level eight sword down here. Let's go ahead and upgrade you. I don't have the money for it. I'm poor. Dang it. Okay, well, I did want to upgrade on the sword. Definitely need to start grinding up money. Ooh, a giant one. Okay, let's kill it. Luckily, we can all work together on this, so it's easy. Easy bear. There we go. Okay, claim that. And repeat. Well, this was his only quest. I'm going to keep moving forward until I find something else I can do. I, I, I need to figure out what level we need to go up to. I'm going to guess level 9 considering the level of the bear. Oh, yeah. Here's the first boss. Actually, let's let's go claim this teleport crystal real quick. There we go. I think I know where the next... I, I, I remember where the next NPC is now. I remember. One second. We have to go all the way across these bridges. And yeah, there it is right there. That's That's the next NPC we can talk to. Level 9 and 10, so I was right level 9. Okay, we're good. There's also something else I remember is behind in every video game, always check behind the waterfalls because there is a hidden area back here with a chest. I remember this one now. This one should give a good item, right? Yeah, this one gave a level 16 greatsword. Okay, I'm not using greatswords, but that is still a really good item. I'm guessing let's go ahead and learn this dual energy cleave or upgrade to level 2. Because I'm about to need a ranged attack. I'm probably underpowered for this, but there's a boss here I want to fight. I want to start fighting this guy right here because he has a bunch of good drops. It's a giant, like, werewolf bear called Hagen. Yeah, look at that. So he has a bunch of drops. Every minute he'll spawn in. He drops level 10 to level 12 gear. Okay, let's do it. This guy's going to be fun. Just got to avoid his attack. Stay behind him. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Just gotta stay behind the guy. I'm actually doing pretty good. Look at his health. Yeah, we're doing good. Yeah, let's fight this guy. He should give a lot of experience. Come on, match. we get a drop from this? We did. We got a pure amethyst and the level 11 um, epic sword. There we go. And that gave us... Oh, that gave us a lot of experience. We're at 1,557. Yeah, this guy's worth it. Okay, let's farm him. Oh, okay, cool. We got another rose by. There we go. So we got our swords for dual wield. We're just lacking the armor. And hey, there we go. We got bear armor. Perfect. We got like two more kills. We got we have the items we need. So that's giving a decent amount of experience. Let's see how much the next quest is giving us. Because that's also giving a lot of money. We're getting 400 per round. So we're getting loaded on that. Now we can do Rocky Foes, which is giving us 570 for five kills. Well, I have a good idea. Let's just do this right here. That should give us a lot of rock golems right away. Yeah, these are like the best way to get these done is just fight these guys. The portals. We're now level 10 from one portal. That was really fast. 
Okay, let's go ahead and equip the bear armor. It's epic. We're looking good. Let's see. What is, do I have access to your next quest already? I do. Blasting rocks. He wants me to defeat Hagen. Well, I've done that before. All right. Let's go say hi to Hagen. Hello, Hagen. Goodbye, Hagen. Ooh, more bear armor. Awesome. All right, let's see. What is our next quest? Hello there, Fred. I'm free. Quests. Uh, level 12. Dang it. Okay. So we need to come back here. Let's see if there's anything through this cave. And oh, there's a boss here. Yeah, here it is. Okay, we have another shrine. There's also another quest here for level 15. Yo, yeah, this is the boss that's a giant wolf with a sword. I've never fought this guy before. Okay, they killed it. Okay, let's see. So he dropped uh, a bunch of different things. Level 18 armor and level 20 weapon. So this is way ahead of my level. All right, let's do it. Level 20 Galliard. Okay, five of us versus a wolf. This should be this should be easy. Okay, yeah, he has a big front attack, noted. He hits around his body twice in a row. Obviously, three times in a row. Does a lot of damage because two people are already dead. Oh, yeah, that is, that is a lot. Yeah, this is a rapid fire boss. No downtime on this guy. Oh, I'm dead. Dang it. Ah, I dashed out of it in time. Okay, well, I wonder if I'll get credit for that. I probably won't because I died. But let's, I'm guessing we'll head back. Let's get level 11. Well, nothing like a good portal will get us a bunch of experience. Okay, crystal bear time. Or crystal boar. Why do I read bear? I'm dumb. Any portals for these guys? Yeah, okay, I'm not seeing any portals. I just got to kill normal ones. Nope, and there we go. Level 15. Speeding through the levels. Yeah, let's go ahead and do Blossom's quest of defeating Moose. And there's a portal for it. Perfect. I, I don't know there. Oh, there's a big one. Okay, well, they're not that tanky because this big one's dying pretty fast. Oh, that's a cool looking attack. That's another dual attack I haven't unlocked yet. We also got an aquamarine for that. Kill the mooses. These these are big by default, my lord. There you go, a bunch of levels for that, or a bunch of experience. And here's the last waystone, I think, at least for the outside the tower. The Alpha Adventure wearing Kirito's outfit. Okay, what is your level? Okay, you require level 20. Noted. Wait, can we enter the tower without it? We cannot. We ha okay, we have to accept that. Okay, let's try this again. We have much more health and much more damage. Could have a lot more if I bought new weapons, but I didn't. Yeah, when he's doing this little lots of swings, just avoid him. Because one of his attacks does a ton of damage. Like, that one did a lot of damage, but the one I'm talking about does a ton of damage. It almost killed that guy over there. Oh. There we go. Any drops for that? Okay, we got a pure aquamarine there. Looks like we need the 10% drop sword to get a better sword, but the armor would be nice too. The real question is, who gave this wolf a sword and why is it so good with it? Somebody really messed up giving a giant crystal wolf a sword. Oh, oh we got the long sword. Awesome. There we go. We got one of the swords. That is way better than what I'm using right now. Oh, and another long sword. Perfect. I keep getting really lucky with this. I keep dropping the swords I actually use. Oh, so heck yeah. This guy is dropping it the armor for this thank you thank you lowrider if you're watching this video on the off chance you are thank you for the amethyst armor it actually looks really good though look at it on him first good looking armor now they're pure aquamarine but i think i'm done with this boss for now because i have the boss drops thanks to that guy dropping me one but i'm gonna go ahead and head back to these moose and hope there's a portal because the portals drop more experience and there we go, level 18. So now we have access to the amethyst armor. Look at that. That's a nice, that's a nice set of armor. It looks good. Oh, an actual crystal boars portal. I haven't seen any of these before. Heck yeah. So portals do exist for these. They just didn't want to spawn for me. And there we go. Finally, level 20. So that means we can finally equip our long swords from earlier. So now we're looking real cool. And additionally... Well, actually, I, I, I want to do something. So I, I bet I'll use these for a little bit. At least I hope I use these for a little bit. Let's roll one and chant on each one of these. I'm hoping, I'm guessing, I don't even know what he would want. Probably attack damage or burst power. So I guess it has ability power. And crit. Okay, cool. Not too bad. I'll also roll on the armor, which gave plus 20% max HP. There we go. Okay, the tower dungeon. He wants us to defeat 10 of the moose. Okay, that's not too bad. There we go. Okay, quest is done. Let's go talk to the guy. All right, let's see. What do you have to say? 
So I claim that and the tower opens. Ooh, that's ominous. Let's keep going with our quest. Please don't require further levels. I want to explore here first. Okay, good. We have to hunt down five soldier boars. Oh my gosh, it's boars holding swords. And they are tanky. My goodness, they take a hit. Glad I enchanted my gear. Sure, I wonder if I could even do the portal for this. Leave that there for a second. I want to explore. Okay, just more boars in here. Nope, we got an obby. More boars. Okay, this is definitely where we have to go over here. Oh, yeah. There's now basilisks in here. Ooh, found a hidden chest behind the tree. I had a feeling the area was too pretty to be nothing. We got a noble sword. New level 21 sword. Well, I'm glad I rolled for these. That's actually worse. I bet if I unequip it. Oh, yeah, no, it's worse. These are better. Okay, good. I'm glad the rarity actually matters. Another chest. That one gave a, a pure aquamarine. Okay, finally made it to the end of this area. Okay, so what is your quest? So to move on to the next area, level 22 is my next quest for slimy poison. That's to kill the basilisk. Finally. That took a very long time to get to. Okay, that the one I fought a second ago was a giant boar. Okay, so they're not, they're not that bad. Never mind. I didn't even realize that it was a giant. I thought it was just a normal size. They're actually really small. Okay, they have line AoE and a small circle. Okay, that's not too bad. Actually, if I kill them fast, I got a jeweled long sword. Okay, cool. Level 24 sword. That is only three damage better. This is not fight the giant ones. They are not worth it. Okay, there we go. We're now level 22, just from killing more of those sword boars. Time to defeat a bunch of basilisks. It's 10 per quest. Well, hopefully they're easy. And okay, we just hit level 23, which now gave us the quest to defeat 20 basilisks. And this is the unlock of the final boss of floor one. I think there's currently two floors. So there's technically another floor for us to explore. And there we go. Okay, the quest is done. Hello, good sir. I'm here to fight the boss. Claim. Now I have access to the final area. Okay, yeah, this is definitely Sword Burst. Sword Burst love, or Sword Burst 2 specifically. I didn't play a lot of 1. But Sword Burst 2 loved giant staircases leading towards boss rooms. I really hope there's someone else here. Because these bosses in this game are probably going to be kind of difficult. Oh yeah, there's no one here. Level 25 requirement. He drops Kirito's outfit. Perfect. And I need to get out of here before he spawns. One second. I need, I need to get this real quick. Yeah, claim that. Well, let's do this. I bet we have to defeat him to move on to the next world. Oh, goodness. Okay, so he has, Sai he has Frenzy Knights on the side. Which don't have a lot of health. There's also Soldier Boars. Okay, he's using a Rapier and a Greatsword, bosses. Yeah, yeah, kill these guys. Get them out of the way. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, get away from that. Okay, cool. And more of those soldiers will spawn. Yeah, I can do this. Oh, he's doing a spin. Yeah, look how low he is. Yeah, we got this. This game's actually really well made, though. These bosses are really nice. There we go. We killed them and no loot drop. But we now have unlocked floor two. Okay. Let's see. The loot drops a 5% chance for the armor. I want to get the armor because it's, it's Kirito's armor and I'm Kirito. It's like needed. I need to get it. Back away. Look at this. If I use this ability, I just straight up climb up the boss. This boss isn't too bad. I got, I got this. I got attack pattern down. There we go. And we got a topaz and pure. Let's go. Finally. I'm level 25 to actually equip it. That's how long that took. Wow, that's a big boost to health, though. Look at that. Oh, we're looking good. I wish I had a little bit of a neck thing to make it look a little better. Because my head looks a little goofy on it. But yeah, we got it. Finally. I am not going for the other drops, though. Those are even rare. That's not happening. Because I spent so long doing it. Oh, I don't, I don't have a pure topaz to do this. Dang it. Okay. Well, what about upgrading it? Okay, that just takes topaz. I'm paying to max this thing out. I want to make sure I use this thing as long as possible because of how long it took. I don't think it's going to be long, though, because I think max level is like 45 or something right now. And this is only level 25 armor. Now, there we go. Look at that. 6,883 health. Very good. But now that we've done that, let's go ahead and teleport up to floor two. And wow, this floor is very orange and red, my lord. And there's the tower. And there's immediately a portal here for me to use. Okay, let's go ahead and claim this quest for level 23. And let's just immediately do a bunch of this, like, right away just by fighting this. 
These portals are amazing. There we go, easy. We are now level 26, like right away. Yeah, this is a very pretty map. I like this map. I mean, immediate chest too. The Justifier, level 25 greatsword. Here we go, here's another quest. Okay, your level 25 quest. Yours is to defeat Ember Jaguars. This, I, I basically skipped the first quest by going for this armor. And just to see, right now mine does 6.8. How much health does your armor give? Oh, okay, mine gives more. Okay, good. Yeah, look at these Jaguars. These are cool looking. And we still shred through them pretty easily. Yeah, level 30 boss here who gives armor and a sword. Now, here's another quest. This one's for level 28, I think. Yeah, level 28 to do Slithering Runes to defeat the snakes up ahead, the Basilisk. Go to Lava Basilisk. Okay, that's gonna be the next enemy. Oh, goodness. Roaring Ogre. This guy's interesting. He's very good at targeting you, too. And voila! First kill, we got a Molten Katana! Oh, these are Katanas. Interesting. Can I equip both? I can equip two of them. It counts as a dual wield. Interesting. So if I just equip... Just out of curiosity, if I just equip the one... Yeah, that means I have access to just these skills. Oh, they have a bunch of high-level skills. Yeah, dual wield doesn't have that. Dual wield maxes out at level 14. Very interesting. And there's the armor and another katana. I got all the drops I needed. Well, these katanas are better. So it looks like I'm dual wielding katanas. And then is the armor better? Please don't be better. 6,042. It's okay. Mine's way better. Good. I mean, it'd be nice to get another upgrade. Yes, but I spent so long trying to get this thing. I want to use it for a while. <laughs> okay, there we go. Finally, we're level 28 now. Now we can go ahead and kill these snakes, the basilisks, which are still pretty weak. I'm still using lower end swords. Like I'm using just default bullet katanas and they're doing more than enough. Ooh, a little hidden chest. I like these. I gave a stinger katana, level 38. Interesting, that's really good. I have one for 31 and 38. Oh, heck yeah. I just had two uh, portals spawn on top of each other. That's gonna give a massive speed boost to me leveling up. Oh, I, just got a, I just got a good drop there. I got two pieces of armor from that. I got this right here. Fire Enforcer, 8.3 thousand. It's way better. Level 33. And then I also got this, which is way worse. The one I'm using right now. But there you go. I got a weapon for when I get to level 33, which is in four levels. The Kirito armor was fun while it lasted. We're not going to have it too much longer. Okay, there you go. Level 30. Now it's time to kill the Cave of the Dead. Skeleton Bears. My lord. Yeah, look at this guy. Level 40. He has three weapons and a set of armor, all for level 40. Well, his boss is, but his level requirement is actually quite low. You know what? Let's try fighting this. Erebus. I've, I've no idea what he's going to be like. That's like a salamander. Oh my gosh, it's rolling. Oh, that's actually really cool. Okay, well, his attack pattern is a lot of long attacks going forward. So if anything, he's a, it's a very big chase battle. Oh, there you go. He actually has a close AOE attack. Didn't know that. There you go. And he's dead. No drops, though. What's his chances? Oh, they're all pretty low. 10% for his stuff. There you go. Hey, we got one. We got the Cobalt Fang Epic Sword. Okay, it's a normal sword. That's good. 912 damage. And looking at the levels, this is an epic at level 33. This is an epic at level 30. I don't know where you normally get this armor at, but it is definitely going to be better than that. So I think we're done fighting him for now. I've also gone ahead and bought three hours of times two experience because I've already spent quite a bit of time getting to this level and I just want to make it a little bit faster. By a little bit, I mean twice as fast because I'm not showing any of the footage of me killing anyway, so it doesn't really affect the video. If anything, I'll end up just making less money through my gameplay progress and getting less drops because less kills. And uh, finally a portal. Oh yeah, there we go, level 33, which means, well, first of all, I forgot to equip this katana, so let's go ahead and equip that one. And then I also now have better armor. You shall rest in peace, my first legendary piece. Well, cool. One more level and I get access to my other pretty good sword. And then four more levels, I get access to my other really good sword. Now let's go ahead and accept the next quest, which is to defeat the 
Fiery Moose, which is about the same amount of health. Okay, there we go. Finally, we hit level 36, or four levels away from Tower. But level 36 gives us the next quest. Killed so many of those mooses. But the next quest is to go ahead and kill Lava Golems, which I'm guessing we'll be doing this until level, I think it's 38. Oh yeah, and I keep forgetting, I can actually go ahead and equip that sword like 912 damage that is really good also gonna go ahead and buy one of these long swords which also deal a lot of damage and okay we're level 38 now i think that's enough level to do the next quest now and there's also enough level for my next katana there we go let me also go ahead and buy this brimstone armor and i'll buy one of these crimson furies because i have to because i can only buy one at a time i have to wait for another one to spawn in i'll buy that for later but here we go level 38 now wants us to kill the phoenixes big old birds they don't stand a chance. I'm too powerful. But it, but no, yeah, very cool looking mob. And there we go. Level 40. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and equip the brimstone armor and equip the first of our two level 40 swords. We're looking pretty cool. We got some like red armor on. Like, look at that. That That's really cool. But let's go ahead and buy the second of the Crimson Furies. And then now we are set. Let's go ahead and accept the level 40 quest, which is pretty basic. Just defeat 10 phoenixes. And okay, there we go. That was easy. Just had to kill a gate that was spawned. Okay, claim the quest. Gate opens. Let's get. Let's go inside. Let's go ahead and accept this quest real quick. Level 40 for fire minions. Gotta kill ourselves some fire imps. Some hellhounds. Perfect. Okay, there we go. We got level 42. So now we can kill the hellhounds. We just gotta kill them enough for one level. Make it even easier. There's someone else here grinding it too. That's so way easier. Okay, level 43. So with that, I'm now able to do the Fire Lord quest, which wants me to kill 20 of these Hellhounds. Okay, let's do it. Perfect, a gate spawn. This is like the most perfect way to do this quest. Awesome, there we go. Well, we finished that, so let's go ahead and finally unlock the gates and make our way into the next boss room. It's another giant staircase. I love that these are back. If you've played as much Sword Wrist 2 as I have, which isn't as much as most people that are like hardcore fans, but I still really appreciate these giant entrances to bosses. Okay, what's his drop rates? Let's see how bad they are. Oh, they're all 1%. You have one of each side of sword as a 1%, and then you have a 5% armor. And I also realized reasonably I could have just done an hour of experience boost. Hopefully it pauses. Okay, he does a spin attack. So you want to back away from him after doing some easy attacks. And he has a frontal attack where he stabs, a cross attack, and then and the same close AoE attack. Nothing too complicated. But yeah, staying behind him works pretty well. There's only one attack that hits you from behind. It would be way worse if I was alone, but I'm not. There's a bunch of max levels grinding stuff here. Trying to get the good gear. Oh, it looks like some people died. Well, cool. First round, we didn't get anything, but we did level up, up to level 44. Pretty interesting boss. These bosses are definitely much more fun to fight than the Sword Burst 2 ones were. I won't go into detail, but this is definitely much easier, I would say. More engaging, I guess is a better word. But there you go. Second kill, no drops. Nope, and there we go. Level 45. That was a few kills later, and still no drops. And yes, finally! After so many kills, we get the legendary armor, which is much better. Look at that. 13,000 compared to just 10,000. Very good. I look good. Kind of reminds me of Igris from solo leveling, if you've read the manhwa. He'll be coming up soon, hopefully, in the anime. He hasn't been shown yet at the time of recording of the video. But yeah, really cool looking armor. Okay, yeah, there we go. Just rejoined. That makes it look way, be that makes it look way better, too. Yeah, look at that. We look really good. The helmet was a good idea. I think I'll do this from now on where I match my outfit to the top outfit of each update. Because I will, I will be playing this game further because they're going to be adding more worlds slowly. Next one is coming in March. So at the time of recording, like half a month, and I'll have another floor to explore. But yeah, it's a very fun game. We managed to level up pretty fast and get a lot of good items. No, None of the top swords, though. We got no legendary sword. But can you really blame me? They're all like a 1% chance. That really would take me a very long time to do. But yes, I hope you enjoy this video. This game's a lot of fun. It's also now free.